Jacob, Isaac's heir, had 12 children. These would be the origin of the 12 tribes of Israel. Between his sons, Jacob had a preference for Joseph, the youngest son. Jacob's remaining offspring were quite jealous of Joseph, since Jacob did not hide that he was his dearest son. When Joseph received a beautiful mantle from his father, the envy of his brothers reached its peak. Joseph told his brothers about one of his night dreams, and they concluded that, by such a dream, Joseph was saying that he would reign over them. After that day, his brothers started to concoct a plot against Joseph. One day, Jacob asked Joseph to help his brothers with work, and when they saw the youngest son approaching them, they conspired to get rid of Joseph. Some pondered the possibility of killing him, but Reuben was against it. When Joseph approached his brothers, they grabbed him and threw him in a well. Some said that he would have to stay there forever, but they eventually decided to sell him as a slave. A caravan bought Joseph as a slave and his brothers were left with his beautiful mantle. They covered it with goat blood and returned home. Jacob's offspring showed their father the robe of his favorite son all torn and bloody and said that he would certainly have been killed by a wild beast. Jacob suffered immensely when he received this news. In the meantime, Joseph was being taken to Egypt, where he was sold as a slave to one of Pharaoh's officers. Even as a slave, he prospered as the officer's servant. His owner had great confidence in Joseph and entrusted him with the management of all his goods. Nevertheless, his master's wife tried to seduce him, feeling attracted by the young man. By rejecting her, he was targeted by the fury of his master's wife. She accused him of attempting to rape her, so her master threw him in prison, where Joseph would share a cell with the Pharaoh's prisoners. But Joseph didn't get to that place by mere chance. It was all part of God's plan. He was protected by the Lord, and his fate was not to die as a prisoner of the Pharaoh. Joseph would eventually become a prominent figure, and Egypt's salvation would be in his hands. Joseph was sold as a slave by his brothers and was later incarcerated in Pharaoh's prison for a false accusation. But God never abandoned Joseph and, in prison, he was responsible for taking care of the other prisoners. He was known as someone capable of interpreting the prisoners' dreams and he prophesied that one would be condemned to death and another would be forgiven and things happened the way he had envisioned. The absolved prisoner worked as Pharaoh's cupbearer and he promised to intercede for Joseph with the Pharaoh. But the cupbearer forgot his promise, and Joseph remained in prison. However, the Pharaoh started to experience odd dreams over and over again. In them, seven sick cows ate seven healthy cows that were grazing the Nile banks. In another, seven small ears of wheat swallowed seven large ones. These dreams tormented Pharaoh, but no one could discern their meaning. The cupbearer promptly recalled Joseph, and his ability to interpret dreams and recommended him to Pharaoh. Joseph was taken to the Pharaoh, revealing the meaning of the monarch's dreams. He told that Egypt would go through seven years of great prosperity, to be followed by seven years of scarcity. Joseph advised the ruler to stock a vast array of resources during the abundant period, so that his people could tackle the following scarcity. Pharaoh was impressed by Joseph's abilities and appointed him as his counselor and he would soon occupy a position in the Egyptian administration, where he would only be beneath the Pharaoh himself. As prophesied, Egypt experienced a long spell of wealthiness. Joseph worked to take all the necessary measures to face the ensuing crisis. Joseph did an excellent job, and everyone was grateful to him. In the meantime, famine hit Egypt's neighboring regions, including the region where Joseph's father Jacob and his brothers lived. Jacob ordered his offspring to go to Egypt to purchase food. Joseph was told of the arrival of Israelites who wished to buy wheat. Joseph was surprised to find his supplicant brothers. He recognized them immediately, but his brothers did not recognize him. Joseph accused his brothers of being spies, but they swore they were nothing but simple workers and declared that they were the sons of Jacob, 12 brothers in all, but the youngest had remained at home. Joseph was angry with the lie. He was the youngest of the 12 brothers and decided to keep his brothers captive until the youngest decided to appear in Pharaoh's palace. Much to Joseph's surprise, there was a new baby indeed. His name was Benjamin. To test the brothers, a silver cup was hidden in Benjamin's belongings. 
and for that, he would be accused of robbery and then enslaved. But the rest of the brothers would be free. The brothers begged to be enslaved instead of Benjamin, as they could not return without their youngest sibling. This would destroy Jacob's heart, who had already lost his favorite son. Moved, Joseph started to weep. He decided to unveil his identity to his brothers, who were stunned and at the same time fearful, because they feared that Joseph was ready for revenge. But Joseph's heart was filled with love, and he forgave his brothers. All the suffering he had endured as a young man was part of God's plans. Had he not been a slave, he could never have saved the people of Egypt and their relatives from famine. Joseph asked Jacob, his old father, to be brought to Egypt with his people. Father and son were exhilarated to be reunited, and that is how the descendants of Israel settled in Egypt.